Hi ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your ACT software. This assumes you have a current version of ACT and you've made a decision to buy the most recent version. To do that, what you need to do is you need to uninstall your current version of ACT before you upgrade. What I also recommend is that before you uninstall ACT, you make a backup of your ACT data. This tutorial is not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to make the assumption you know how to do that. And if you need help, feel free to reach out to me so I can help assist you with that task. Having said that, the sole purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to uninstall ACT from your computer. To do that, you're going to be on the desktop of your computer and go down to the search box and type in Control Panel. The control panel, as you'll see as I start typing it, will appear up top right here. I'm going to click on that, and now the control panel will show up on my computer. So next, once I get into the control panel, you want to search for programs and features. If you don't see the programs and features, over here in the top right-hand corner, there's different ways you can see these items in the control panel. If you have it selected other than what I have, which is large icons, you might not be able to see the exact screen I'm seeing. Choose large icons to get to this screen. Once we're at this screen, you want to look for the Programs and Features option. I'm going to click on that. Once I'm in here, you're going to look at all the software you have on your computer, and you'll find and look for ACT. If you can't find or if it's not in order, you can click on the name heading to put everything in alphabetical order. So as I go down through my list and look for ACT software, I might have to scroll up and down a little bit, but here it is down at the bottom, right there, ACT Premium in my case. You might have ACT Pro or um, ACT Premium. There might be a slight variation of what you see there. One of the ways you can uninstall it is simply right click and click uninstall. If you don't remember how to right click, you can also go back up to the top and it says uninstall right there. So by clicking uninstall, it will start the process. When that process is done, there's a good chance you'll be asked to reboot your computer. And if you're not asked, it's not a bad idea to do it anyway. Once you've uninstalled ACT, simply install the newest version of ACT that you've purchased. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me, and I'd be more than happy to walk you through that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you very much for being here.